Hello everyone. It's currently raining. The weather's pretty wild right now. So I'm hunkering down. And I don't know if you can see out there, it's raining. If you like Northern Exposure, that, that um, show, you're going to love Montana because it's basically Alaska, but a little south. A little more convenient. You have to drive through Canada. Hi, eh? Hosers. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry. What I wanted to talk about for a minute was something, you know, I feel is personal, but it's part of the being a shaman, part of being a healer, part of being the, yeah, the holy person in the tribe. Um, the thing I love about my Native American roots and my ancestors and the way they looked at um, people that were different, like if, you know, if you're a, a lady, I mean, if you see somebody and they look just like a woman, but they have a penis, you know, but they're beautiful, right? Or a guy that's flamboyantly gay. These are things that we would embrace. And because for the most part, it's basically sacred because they would embody the, the sacred masculine and the sacred feminine, which was something very special. A lot of times they were shaman. They were ones that were... You know, asked about vice and stuff like that. They were just special. They usually are. And we are all special. And that's the wonderful thing about, you know, cultures and the way they treated others. Again, Cherokee was such a wonderful tribe. Because we valued people by what they could bring to the tribe, not what they looked like. That's why there was a lot of African Americans that were welcomed into the Cherokee tribe. And there's a lot of dark-skinned Cherokee. Because we didn't give a shit. All they cared about was, were you a good warrior? Were you, you know, were you a contributor to the tribe? You know what I mean? That's all it was. So, yeah, I love my Native American roots. So, yeah. And no matter what sexuality you believe in, you are special. And I don't believe in that. That's just... <clears throat> that's stupid to judge somebody by their sexuality. That's just ridiculous. You know, I love women. And I remember when I was really young... Like, not a teenager, but like when I was a young man. And I was I was so in love with this one lady. Her name was Lisa. She was just adorable. I'm going to give her your last name. But, yeah. She was an amazing young lady. Artist. She could basically look at a picture of, um, let's say, Marilyn Monroe. And draw it in pencil to make it almost look like it's a picture. Uh, taken by somebody. It was ridiculous how good she was. Anyway. I lose my jack when I start talking about old stuff like that. But, um, see, and I did. I, I loved her. But anyways, so, um, yeah, I'm sorry. So when I was, and I remember, um, seeing two guys holding hands, all smiling in old Sacramento. And in the middle of the day, and I thought that was cute. But I was like, at the same time, I was thinking, if somebody were to tell me that I couldn't walk down the street holding hands with Lisa, as, you know, as, as a, in love as I was with her at the time, you know, nobody's going to tell me who I can love. Period. And I don't think I have the right to tell anybody else who to love. No, nobody does. Every, it's love. Like that one guy who does Hamilton. I don't care for him because he's, he's an elite. But anyway. And Hamilton would have probably not approved of all this shit. But anyways, he did it. He was right about one thing. Love is love is love, babe. And, man, you know, maybe he'll grow up and be a mature person one day and see his follies. Who knows? But yeah, love is love is love, babe. And everybody should be loving life and be happy. And most important, love yourself. More than anything else, just love yourself. And like I said, not too much, you go blind. But for the most part, just, you know, once you once you feel good about yourself and you have that self-esteem and that's important, that's part of loving yourself is getting that self-esteem, getting your mojo, babe. Getting that mojo going where people look at you going, damn, who's that? Gots to get to know them. You know what I mean? That's what the mojo you want. You're going to get it. You just got to start loving yourself. And it'll slowly build. Baby steps, baby. We'll do it. We'll do it. It's going to be all right. I'm going to show you some rain some more. It's almost like one of those loop. You listen to the rain. Oh, I love this. I love my life. I'm nomadic as hell. Living out of my vehicle. But I'm... Every other day is a you know different scenery. It's an adventure. I have no clue what I'm doing. It's scary, but it's exhilarating. It's it's part of, I guess, what an adventure should be. Anyway, I'm still doing good. And I hope everybody else is too. I love you guys.
wonderful day, okay? Love and light. I'm going to give you another little slice of the rain. And then I'm out.